<laughs> we don't need to have 30 minutes episode again. Episode 3. <laughs> Batman! Woo! We're gonna work with Bane. Uh, sort of. St- kind strictly of. speaking, he's not gonna be doing a lot of actual work. Well, of course not. I mean, he can't. He he can't, he can't really fit like those doors. <laughs> no, he's huge. Uh, no, he he does actually. I mean, I mean, technically, but I won't spoil that. Yeah, spoilers. Yeah, so we're gonna go head off to do the. So that there are two sets of um, AR gliding trading. Look at that guy. I don't know Ew. what he was doing up there. <laughs> he didn't even have a gun. Um, there, there are two sets of these augmented reality training uh, kind of side quest things. This first... Oh, yeah, I've heard about yeah, those. This first set gets you a vital upgrade, in my opinion, um, which is why I always do it as soon as I can. You you um, you do that first one, then you get the the next one on your you know map yada yada. Um, so question. Yeah. So question. Quick quick side tangent. So does Alfred take over from Oracle? No. Okay. We are we're gonna hear from Oracle. Um, at least in reference to some of the side quests. I don't. Okay. I don't know. I don't remember if she pops up for any of the main story stuff. Uh, she might. This is also there's a there's a uh, an Easter egg on this boat that we're standing on that I'm going to show off eventually, but not right now. Because we have to have the. Well, you you can probably get it right now, but. Um, <clears throat> That'll just have to be something You're people can look forward to, to later. <laughs> of course. Okay, I was just I was just curious because Alfred's been talking yeah, yeah. a whole bunch. So. Yeah, we're. I don't remember when Oracle pops up first. Actually, it's it's already been a month since I played this game. <laughs> um. Oh yeah, it has. But the the second set of augmented reality training. Stuff, it's just for 100% completion, so I'm not going to finish that until the end of the game. Because I don't think that needs to be bothered with, necessarily. <laughs> I actually, I just, plus the, the it, like it's called advanced AR training, and a lot of those are, they're, they're vastly more complicated than these first four, which are just ridiculously easy, because obviously it's training you how to use the, the gliding mechanics in the game. Um, but the advanced AR stuff is actually pretty challenging. Uh, so I always I, like I put it off because I was like I am probably not going to do very well at it, and I don't want to spend two hours trying to s- capture and snip down videos for that. <laughs> But now we've, you know, these these landing on boats kind of remind me of um, if you play border the first Borderlands yeah. again for the second time, and you go back to this coastal area. I don't remember <laughs> the name of it. Um, and there is a boat with lights, like Christmas right. tree lights, and you land on there. You get an achievement that says, "I'm on a boat." <laughs> Uh, so every time I see that, I just think of, oh, I'm on a boat. So we, we've we seen a few of them already. Um, Joker balloons are one of the various destructibles in this game. Uh, rather than Joker teeth, we have a bunch of different thematic um, items that are destructible in the environment. And this is the grapnel boost, which Ooh. lets us... Double tap A while we're grappling to a building, and it will automatically launch us into a, a glide again, rather than needing to land and then start, you know, like jump off the building 
to reality training online. to get more air. The gra reality grapple reality boost significantly online. speeds up how you get around Arkham City. Reality training online. And that's where the that's where okay. the four AR Augmented advanced AR training, training bits are. Right. Those are going to be clogging up the map the entire game. Mm. But so, um. But the on a boat, do you know what reference that is? Oh, yeah, of course. Good. Everybody knows that. Uh, well, apparently some people don't. <laughs> well, yeah, that doesn't surprise me, actually. But yeah. That's, but, I mean, yeah. like, the, to me, that's right up on the same level as, like, I threw it on the ground. Yeah. It's like, if you, if you don't know that reference by now, uh, fair enough, but it's kind of weird. Yeah. <laughs> it's kind of an old reference, too. Yeah, now it's especially. Like, yeah, now it's like, come on, you guys. <laughs> I mean, I'm kind I mean, I'm kind of late to the party with some of these references, but I know that one. <laughs> Cuz uh, I'm old, you see. We could do that. To, I so I wanted to hit that balloon, but it's too far away. Uh the the bat Batarang curves too much. Oh. And I didn't want to get closer. Who's because... talking? By the way, I'm sorry I'm interrupting so much. Who the hell is talking? No, oh, we're getting ambient ambient dialogue from henchmen on the ground. That's that's another new thing because this is an open world game. We uh I was just kind of wondering cuz I was like people keep talking and we're not really doing anything. Yeah. Yeah, we've got Harley overlapping with the PA system at the moment. <laughs> Who is... Yeah. That's Terra Strong now, right? Yes. Okay, that's right. Yeah, it was Arlene Sorkin, the original voice of Harley Quinn in the animated series in Arkham Asylum. Now it's Terra Strong, who is Buttercup in the Powerpuff Girls. Oh, she is, yeah. Yeah. I, it's, so, it, I think it's Buttercup. It's it's one of the Powerpuff Girls. I think, I think it is Buttercup. Um, so why why uh, did she replace the original again? Oh, I knew that at one point. I I, I know that I had looked it up because uh, because obviously I was curious about that. I just remember there was a big hullabaloo about it, and I don't remember what it was. Yeah, I can't remember what the... I can't remember what the, um... Like, the reason behind it for I, I Like, I think it might have just been because Arlene Sorkin couldn't or didn't want to return. Uh... But I don't know. Also worthy of noting is that Tara Strong was, um, Batgirl in the animated series she was yeah yeah that's how that's one of the few places where she got her start yeah back in the day i don't remember what her first role was but i don't think it was batman animated no um <clears throat> aw yep we have harley heads references titan container is well protected the Harley head is one of the destructibles as well. Um, we can't destroy it at the moment because we need the we need a gadget that we are going to get in this building. But the that that Titan container is the side quest, the the Bane side quest, basically. Okay. We'll we'll find more of those as we go through like the story and stuff. There are, I think, three of... I think there are two or three of them in Arkham City proper, and then a couple of them in, like, these buildings that we have to visit for story reasons. Okay. That has to be a bitch and a half to know where they are. Well, they show up on the map as well. Oh, okay, good. That's that's what all of the uh, little, like, cubes on the map were. Oh... Um... So we uh, we can't get in through the back, and the front door is probably not a good idea. No. Um, so we gotta find out an alternative way inside of this uh, this this steel steel mill here, which is not down in the water, Batman. What are you doing? <laughs> 
He just needed a little wake up, you know, cold yeah. water. A little, little pick me up there. Dude doesn't <clears throat> drink coffee. No, just just a quick dip in the sub zero waters of Arkham Gotham City. Yeah, there are a bunch of bunch of guys with guns there, so let's not go that way. Okay. Unless you're feeling, you know, f feeling, feeling a little frisky frisk for yeah, for, yeah, for, no. for gunfire. No. Yeah. We already took a, a bullet from Two Face. Let's uh, let's go up here. Alfred, I need to find a route into the Sionis Steel. Mill. Thanks, Alfred. Have you tried the front door, sir? <laughs> Why didn't I think of that? <laughs> yeah, with you know those six armed henchmen, too easy. I'll do it. The main chimney. Okay then. Ah. Yeah, nice. I don't mind getting black lung. Nah, it's fine. Coal man's cough? Clearly, like, if this were Christian Bale man, he already would have that, so. <laughs> it wouldn't make a difference. Uh, no, we're not gonna melt, though. We are Batman. Even though if you were a normal human being, you totally would. Yeah, we, we have heat resistant bat suits. You it's, would be it's s'mores. It's fine. Basically. Um. The, the, the unfun s'mores kind, not the marshmallow and graham cracker. <laughs> More like the fat and bone. So that was, times. that was another new mechanic in this game. You can slide while you're running. Um, which can be used in many, many, many different ways, but is mostly used for getting around small little openings. It can be used in combat to hilarious effect, though. Yeah, he's really close to... Like that yeah, molten, he should be toasty, Batman. Molten steel. Like, <laughs> at the very least, he would be sweating. <laughs> at the very least. That bat suit. Boy, Al Alfred just has a hell of a time dry cleaning that bat suit. Are you <sighs> kidding me? Why do you think he has so many bat suits? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> God um, almighty. That's a sneaky, sneaky way to hide a Riddler trophy. I don't. I think you can spot that if you uh, put on detective mode, but I, do, I don't recall exactly. Yeah, Joker wants you to think he's sick. Then wham! <laughs> Clearly, he didn't see the end of uh, Arkham, Arkham Asylum. Asylum. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Joker is totally pretending. <clears throat> Ugh. Uh, we're, we're getting a little turned around here. <laughs> we went backwards. Oops. MC Hammer? Yeah. Not, well, not quite, but, um, he's pretty, pretty close. He, he likes to... I guess he was not legit. <laughs> no, he likes to drop some beats, though. Oh. We, with those parachute pants. We can, in fact, touch that, though, so... You know. Ooh. That's good. Yep. Crack the hammer. That doesn't sound pleasant. <laughs> ah, she's just gonna get smelted a little bit. It's uh, fine. It's fine. We're gonna. We have plenty of time snowman. to do some exploring. Yeah, I wonder what that's a reference to. You know, I will say, I think Co Harley is a really competent gang leader, <laughs> as opposed to what Batman or anyone else says. Yeah. I, I, as far as Batman villains go, um, <laughs> she's, she's not exactly low on the list. No. <laughs> I mean, she's not an idiot. <laughs> really she's just really naive in yeah. certain respects. Well, that's... I mean, she was easily manipulated by the Joker. Yeah. Although I will have to say she probably has some sort of psychoses to be totally fine with. Well, yeah, for sure. I mean... Oop. 
Even uh, though she has a, even though she was in school long enough to get her doctors. So we <laughs> quickly showed off one of the other new combat mechanics. Um, well, there are two new combat mechanics that we are showing off here. One is that they enemies. Can, wow. Ooh, that guy's neck just. Yeah. <clears throat> So non -lethal. Enemies, non lethal. En yeah, enemies can pick up and throw items in the environment, and Batman can counter the items and throw them back in this game. And, That's cool. Um, and you can also counter more than one enemy at a time. Like that. So, uh, that, that means that more than one enemy can attack you at a time, first of all. Um, which means that you can get. <laughs> bapped around like Batman just was. <laughs> um, but it also means that there are far more counter animations for Batman in this game as compared mm. to Arkham Asylum. Because you have animations for one enemy, animations for two enemies, and animations for three enemies. Oh, I, I want to make a movie reference. What movie? I don't know, I was too hung up on the fact that she sounds like she's from New York. Uh, what's the movie where he's supposed to be dead? Oh, oh. Emperor's New Groove. Joker's oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yzma. <laughs> A llama? Some of his goons dragged the A Batman? He's supposed to be dead. Joker. Ah, yes. Alfred getting sassy. Yeah, he's, he's very sassy in... Uh, I'm sure you'll find a way, Mistress. Mistress. Uh. Yeah. I'm sure I will, Alfred. I'm sure you will, sir. Have a good day. Mm. <laughs> I can't be bothered. I have to take care of the Bat Mansion. I have to get your next Bat Suit ready, because you're going to ruin this one just as badly as you did the last one. <laughs> I know. So um, I'm going to sass the living shit out of you and be passive aggressive because I'm a British butler. New mechanic. Mm. New me new mechanic. You can tag trophies on oh. in the uh, game world and it marks Coolio. them on the map. They've got that doorway covered. Because there are a bunch of trophies that you can't get until you come back later. Okay, that was cool. His eyes, like glue in the dark. Uh huh. That was cool. He gets the uh, he gets the like animated series kind of white sheen when you yeah. when you turn on detective mode. I think that actually happened in um, Arkham Asylum as well. But I don't the, remember. Well, the the detective mode in Arkham Asylum is so much more um, like bright and vivid in the first place that it's like it's it's oversaturated with color <laughs> just all the time. Uh, in this one. Like, they, they made an active effort to make the, detec the detective mode less useful for um, just having it on, like, all the time. Because mm. because one of the things that a lot of people did in Arkham Asylum was they just went through the entire game with detective mode on, like, like 95% of the time. Because there was, yeah, there was never any reason to turn it off, basically, unless you wanted to see, like, actually look at the textures and stuff. Which I do, but apparently I'm weird or something. <laughs> uh, I completely missed that there is a Riddler trophy in a destructible wall right there. Don't know how I missed that. <laughs> just, just gonna go right back down. Screw this. Going on. <laughs> yep. We have a we have our first smelting stealth map. chamber. Yeah, we have our first stealth map here. Woo. So we'll be doing that next time.